Hello everybody, I'm Strategius Primus, and I'm here playing a little bit of Hearts of Iron 4. If you don't recognize the loading screen here, it's because we're playing the Great War mod. An excellent little thing, I should have a link below. We're going to be playing in single player, of course we're not going to hit continue because uh, that's not this mod. We're going to be playing in the Balkans uh, start date, which is 1910. That's right, we're walking into World War I. And just to get a feel of what's all going on at the time, this is the map. Yes, Austria is massive. It's the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Bosnia exists. Serbia, there's a massive Balkan problem about to be starting in the scenario. And we're going to be playing as this, well, seemingly uh, not important nation. You know, Belgium. Also known as, uh, we're going to try very hard to do a, a little thing that might just be a uh, giveaway for the description of the video or the title, probably the title. Uh, namely, we're going to be attempting to unite the Benelux. Something I've done once or twice before, and just to prove that I haven't done anything silly. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, no, we, we didn't ban for everybody. I'm only playing on regular, not veteran, because oof, this thing on veteran is nearly impossible. The mod adds a significant bit of difficulty in itself. We're going to get started. Main differences between actual Hearts of Iron and this mod is you are not uh, just constantly building tanks because, strangely enough, uh, it's World War I. You have to figure out what those are first. Ah, there we go. And the reason why I'm playing is Belgium. Those uniforms are sick. We have top hats, boys. Anyway, doing some research because that's just what you have to do in this game. New my better Mauser. I love the fact that he completely over the guys who made this mod completely overhauled the entirety of the tech trees. Everything is delicious. Um, if you just sort of look in here, it's largely accurate, very well made. Everything is it's it's a good job. You know, they didn't rush this thing. They really did make a lot of improvements on this. You know, the entirety of everything is very well planned out. Um, Air has a couple of uniqueties in it that make it very different from the base game. Uh, he adds a whole bunch of this sort of thing. Um, the tech tree is uniquely different. And it's good, I like that. Also, uh, national focuses. Everyone has them. There's actually a tree here. It's amazing. And what we're going to be trying to do is to uh, unite the Benelux, which is our diplomatic, uh, one of our diplomatic capabilities. We'll work on that. First things first, uh, I think we're going to go with... Um, I'm looking at my build now. I would go with a little bit of industrial effort first, just because it is hearts of iron. You need industry to exist, and uh, we don't have that many factories. Six, six, really? Except for another. Take a good look at our production line. Yeah, that's the problem. We do not have a modern nation's production line, which is not good. at all. So I'm going to want to go to my construction panel and just dump factories. That should be a good start off point. It was more than two civilian factories and you know maybe actually get something going here. As for the army, uh, the Netherlands you have a bit of a problem. Namely you're slab dab between Germany and France and Germany will most likely use the Schlieffen plan on France where they have to come through you. It's great. So I'm using all my nine of my guys. The good news is you actually have decent generals. You know, they're not the best ever, but they're not terrible. And because I'm going after the United Benelux, I'm just going to sort of put them on the Dutch border and be that guy. Another thing I love about the map, they made a lot more uh, cities of note. Look at all of them. All over the place. It's actually worth gathering land now. It's great. The division space training. That's a fundamental problem. I need to take a quick look at what actually makes an infantry division these days. Yeah, 
three basic infantry guys and one engineer company. No artillery even. Yeah, we're totally ready for a war to come any day now. And the under one is just two. Great. So, of course, we're going to start training some of these. And we're going to train with Flandrin. Get them nice and ready for a big, nasty war. Now, another thing about Belgium is the time we control the Congo. Good thing, too. It has a lot of resources. Say what you will about imperialism here. But, at least, it gives us something actually worth holding on to. Should the worst happen, Germany just eat us. Now, looking at resources. Yeah, we have the Congo, so that's why we're drowning in rubber. Just drowning in it. Sadly, there's no real need for rubber yet, and we need aluminum. Uh, actually, I'm going to not do that. So I have enough civilian factories to actually, you know, build factories to get factories to be factorial. Yeah, that's what I said. Another thing about the Great War, you can make things harder or easier. I'm first up. This gives you a Teletubby, and I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'm tempted to say I have balls of steel, but for the purpose of this playthrough and the fact that I'm recording and I know I'm going to get screwed, I'm going to not today. Uniting the Benelux is a bit of a problem. Nope. Oh, rip George the. Sorry, Edward VII. And uh, George V is the new king of Britain. Yep. Boom. And yes, they actually do put the monarchs in charge. And they've added a new party, which is authoritarian. Um, because, well, you know, fascists aren't in power yet. They're getting there. Hopefully they'll never get there. The Albanians are beginning to revolt, which will generally cause a problem for the Ottomans. The Ottomans are the poor men in Europe at the moment, and they will probably lose most of their stuff. It just happens frequently. Uh, the Jabal Shalar. Anyway, um, looking at the big glorious world, it's still the Qing Dynasty in China. The Russian Empire is still a thing. And yes, that means it's governed from St. Petersburg. <clears throat> the Americas look pretty much the same. Yeah. And yes, the United Kingdom still directly controls parts of Canada. Interestingly enough, Southeast Asia usually looks about the same. Uh, Germany still has some of its colonies. That's about the only real big difference. And Africa looks, eh, yeah, different. Germany. That's about it, really. And the Ottomans have Liberia. Sorry, Libya, not Liberia. Ah, Libya. Liberia is still independent. We're safe. Okay, back over here. What we're planning to do is unite the Benelux by force, meaning basically we're going to just steamroller the Dutch and little Luxembourg here and try to unite this to have enough factories to maybe do something when the Germans come. Uh, because the Germans will come for us. There are a couple of paths we can go down to get the Germans to not come for us, but we're generally going to be fucked by Germany. Such as the fate of Belgium. Uh, South Africa has gained independence from the crown. We... And yeah, it's in 1910 still. I want to be able to unite the Benelux in... Oh, 1912, 11, somewhere in there. And we're going to be playing very, very, very quickly. Flying through this. The reason why I went, what I went with is this increases research, that increases my efficiency, which, considering we have barely any factories, we're going to need all the efficiency we can get our hands on, and man, I don't want to go to a war with the wrong rifle. I'm not that crazy. Little LaBelle? Huh, no. Good, we completed our industrial effort, that should speed things along with that one. And this is where I can start going into armament efforts and research slots and goodness. Or I can actually work on getting political power and, and you know, uniting the Benelux. These are going to be the two things we're mostly focused towards. And with 
probably a little bit of this uh, military modernization movements, and I'm going to largely ignore the Navy. That's what you have to do. I don't really have a Navy right now. I don't really have the time to make one either. We're going to go with some infrastructure, because, man, I want some free factories. Oh, I've got a very important thing. Training. Everybody do push-ups. Or gesture your guns at him. Japan has annexed Korea. Oh, well, shit. It's beginning of the end, isn't it? Well, though, it's coming. And yes, see, they're not fascist. They're authoritarian. Isn't it great? Now, let's go over here. Upgrade to the Mauser, because I am not going to a war with Rebel. I don't care what they say. That thing jams all the damn time. Um, so there's different pieces in the technological tree now. There's these uh, inserted brackets, which basically make your planes and tanks and uh, mechanized things work better. It's not a bad idea. What I'm going to go for first, however, is chemical studies to get that decreased research time. Because, man, I love me some decreased research time. A little bit of reinforced rate, too, because it's just good to get that going. And hand grenades. Probably, but I want to just take a quick look to the artillery. Nope, can't unlock the other artillery yet. Had to make sure. I don't really want an armored car. It's way ahead of time. Yeah, hand grenades. Essential part of this war. I didn't really change too much on the music on this mod. I'm just pausing the game while I take a look. Yeah, I didn't really. Um, but the opening uh, of this is entirely different. The tunes in that are pumping. Uh, they have an armored car. I don't know. That's not going to be good. Yeah, Germany's completely capable of squishing us off the map. Uh, basically, if Germany declares war on us, we need to hope that Britain and France come and save us. Luckily, we're protected by our independence is guaranteed by both Britain and France. Holland's is guaranteed by nobody, neither is Luxembourg's. Important things to make sure of, considering I'm going to try to take both of them over to get enough manpower and enough factories. Because, man, I need factories. I gotta wait until 1911 before I can really get on that one. Oop. There we go. So, that diplomatic effort to get me some political power so I can start. Exploring my advisors. And all these goodness. Eventually I will play as the German Empire because, man, I love uh, World War I uh, German commanders. They are an interesting bunch. I'll get into that later. Not good, I can modify my government. I'm going to do it first for the silent workhorse so you get more political power to spend on more things later. It's just the smart thing to do. Man, I need political power. And as you can tell, we are uh, democratic. Portugal has become a republic. Interesting. I've seen all manner of things happen. They usually try to go democratic. And, well, Brazil goes crazy. Yeah. It's a very entertaining mod. I've played it a couple of times. Um, once before in Belgium, just a quick test. And I played as the Serbians once, and that was, oh boy. As you don't know, well, Archduke is about to be shot down in Bosnia, and it's going to not end well. Huh. I don't know, maybe we'll escape it. Please. Chemical studies in the radio. Do, 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 do. I don't really have submarines. Uh, I always like having decryption just because it saves you manpower uh, in that having decryption means that people are less good at guessing how many men you have and less good at you know defending themselves we don't really use artillery yet so i'm going to go over here to air force research that yeah it will take forever and a half but if we get started now we might have them eventually <sighs> actually how far ahead of time oh 1912 no no can that. 
Do, 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 do. Early tank project for that faster research time. If I lose a day, I'm an idiot. These things happen. I thought airplanes were 1911, not 1912. Oops. It slows me down a little. Shouldn't matter too much. We get hand grenades. Yay. Um, we're now running out of things to do over here. I could go for Marines. I'm thinking about it. Not really. We're going to go over here. Because this is what we really need. I need factory output. There we go. Heavy industry. That sort of thing. That's the Mexican Revolution, everybody. Mexican Revolution. I don't know why it's so hard to say at the moment. We're going to go for Benelux Focus. And we have two options. We can unite the Benelux, which will make our uh, cells from the lines with the two of them, which is meh. Uh, and then attempts to uh, unite the Benelux. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to go for on uh, Alliance or Conquer. I'm leaning towards Conquer, it's just easier. And I'm going to go for. Definitely need the focus. Well, and assign divisions. Excellent. I get more men. More men, more problems. But in this case, we need them. We're going to need every able bodied in Belgium. Every able bodied man in Belgium. Probably every able bodied man in the Netherlands. And. All five people who live in Luxembourg uh, to shoot Germans, basically. And then we're going to have to probably still hope for a British landing. It is a problem. Now, a couple things I can do here. I go for Quartermass General. I try to get an arm and organize it, but I don't really like doing that. Problem is, their advisors kind of suck. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to go get myself an industrial concern guy. And I'm going to go for Gervarican and Co. Or I'm going to go for Sorve. They do not matter difference yet. They will probably not matter differently in the future. I'm going to go for Sorve because it's fun to say. And I'm going for Industrial Concern because the research tree is just littered industrial concerns. Just littered in Look at them all. And strangely enough, you need. I'm gonna have to pick up uh, hand tools, this camera thingy. Not yet, but eventually. And some of those co companies, because man, I need companies. I feel wrong now. I'm gonna also go over here. I'm going to attempt to edit division. Do I have enough? Nope. I thought they made it cheaper, they made it more expensive. My bad. I knew they changed it. Ah, that's a lot of Germans on my board. That doesn't make me happy. A lot of French, too. But I'm only slightly paranoid about French buildup. Let's just take a look and see what French is doing. They're helping the Serbians. And you're working on bureaucratic stuff. I can't remember what that is. Ah, uh, political ad. Luckily, it's not going out against us yet. It's over here. Yeah. They're coming. Something about drums in the deep and dwarves holding off goblins. Anyway. Uh, I would love to get trenches. Trenches make me happy. Need the war of trenches, after all. We got the Benelux Focus. Now they're all going to be buddy buddies with us. So we can either attempt to ally in creating a faction which is the Greater Benelux, which means that the Brits and French are less likely to help us. Not a good idea. Or we can conquer the Benelux. I like this idea. T. Uh, this means we're probably going to war. We have a significantly larger army than either of them, as witnessed here. They have maybe four or eight divisions, and they have some of them Way over here. And Luxembourg has how many again? One. Yeah, one. Right. That's 
that's clearly going to bring us. Who's our theorist? Oh, Helebas. I know him. He's fun. Good read. Morale, organization, defense. Meh. Serious support, artillery, infantry. Infantry. There we go. That's what we need. We're going to need it in this one. We're all about to be up to snuff. And we have our river attack, because we're going to need it. We just might be crossing a few. Which is why I chose him. And because it's Lehman. And because he's good. But as we look down here into our logistics, we badly need more support equipment than guns. Badly. It's just a matter of fact at this point. Strange, it's like we need to seize the means of production. I didn't say. Anyway, cryptanalysis. Yep, wrong one. There we go. Uh, I can go for cryptography or go for a little more reinforce rate. I'm going to go for the reinforce rate because, man, are we going to need that pretty soon. And we're going to try very, very hard to win this. I hope you are all enjoying this series. It's a little bit different than what I often do, as the Albanians have beaten the Turks at the Battle of Desig, which is not good for them. Uh, this is a series of event change and civil wars and things that the Ottomans are about to have to go fight. It is rather hard to pull off. Uh, the uh, Ottomans are actually holding ground. Um, I watched Buddy in my try. It was not fun. Ah, Greater Benelux. Good. I am not going to demand you pin any time soon, because that's basically saying, Oh, you, 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 you want us to do that? No, 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 no. Uh, we're going to attempt to unite the Benelux, or we can try it for something else. That would basically change this to being the Benelux nation. First things first, I'm going to need one of these very soon. So... There we go, they all capitulated. Excellent. We didn't even have to fight the war. I was getting ready to fight a war, and they all just said it sort of rolled over for us, which makes me very happy. Which means we can focus now our entire efforts on uh, making sure that Germany just doesn't, you know, steamroller us and taking Cologne. Good. Makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, anything else out here? Just you. Okay. Just you. Worth it. Just to give somebody out here. Because I'm not wasting the Crown Prince, who's actually a not bad commander, on something this minuscule. There's some pre dreadnoughts out here. And the. German Navy also has pieces out here, so I'm just going to set these gentlemen to a little bit of uh, convoy escorting between us and India, because I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to end up being allied with the Allies, because it just happens. And we actually have naval dock yards now. I wonder what we can use those for. Convoys. Oh, apologies. And then we can go over here to our actual navy. I said the actual navy. And get another new commander. Where well, I went patrolling the Channel of the North Sea, and I don't really want to go into the Eastern North Sea all that much. But we kind of have to. We. Ah, oh, trench excavation. Good. We can actually make trenches sometime soon. Let's get the construction speed up. Do, do, do. And we're going to be really close to actually getting Vlander in to build something. That should put us two, five, I need one more civilian factory. 
And then I'll have the full 15. I like having the full 15 because it just makes things fly how quickly they get built. And then, well, you know, we have to get ready. Excellent. Down here, it is now 1911. And already we've uh, tripled in size. Nearly. The problem is now we have the uh, dubious position of trying to fend off that. All of that. How many of them are there? Uh, I don't trust that. There's way more than that. Yeah, there's way more than that. There's not seven guys. Oh, there's seven guys now. We might have a chance, guys. Seven dudes, even though their divisions are probably, what, four times their size? Yeah, four times their size. Of course they are. That means we need to go over here. Do we have enough now? Of course we don't. Great. And they're using real infantry as opposed to what we're fielding. Guys in top hats. Most eloquent of gentlemen. Get him training as well because, man, we're going to need all the military experience we can get. Armored effort. Yay. And the communication systems came in too. Excellent. Makes this all a bit easier. I don't know why I'm doing torpedoes, but I probably thought it was a good idea. Two support battalions. There we go. That's what we need. I'm going to need myself. Oh, we have them all lot, except for radios and military police. I believe it'll be for the moment. I'm going to go over here. Eventually, we want artillery, so I'm going to get that upgrade because I want artillery. I feel naked walking to World War One without artillery on my guys. It just feels wrong. Ah, excellent. Machu Picchu has finally been uncovered. In Peru. That's good. Ah, we're going to modify a government. Good. Chief of Army, I'm going to go with defense because it's coming. I know it's coming. It knows it's coming. We all know it's coming. Um, destruction effort. Free factories. I, I love free factories. What can I say? If we can take Cologne off of Germany, Britain should come save us. They just should. We're going to try really damn hard to keep this to about 24 men down here. Where are you at? Get him now. Good. Human powered transportation. We finally figured out the wheelbarrow, guys. Oh boy. So this is the first opportunity to have a little bit of World War I happen. Namely, uh, Morocco is uh, being a problem. Uh, a rebellion against a certain sultan. Uh, and the French, the French are going to prepare to lift a certain siege in Fez. Uh, and the Germans have sent a gunboat to Adjir in support of the rebels, claiming to be protecting German mercantile interests. It's going to be a problem. War could break out in Europe. This is the first real gain of tension in Western Europe. We don't really give a shit about what happens to the Balkans until a certain event that will happen to the Balkans. Mm, good thing is, the Germans did not declare war. Thank you, Germany. Somebody was smart enough to say, maybe this won't turn out well. I'm going to send these guys off to the colonies. Because, man, I need to save Africa. Or else let a vortex will just own me. I don't know. He might not be deployed in Africa in this one. I hope he's not. I don't want to deal with him. Let's go for a little bit of encryption. Just to give us that little edge. Now, interesting things that can happen is Italy can join the central powers like they were supposed to. Um, heh. Uh, or do what they did, or do any number of other things. 
Um, the Russians can have peace with the Germans, and generally a lot of different things can occur. Uh, interesting countries to play as, in my opinion. Belgium's very fun, uh, though we're playing it right now. Germany's always a fun option. Uh, the UK is actually bearable in this. Uh, France, I never like playing as France. Austria, Hungary is interesting, difficult. And if anyone actually wants to play as the Ottoman Empire, I feel bad for them. Another good idea would be uh, doing the Chinese Civil War. Round one. Don't know. Let me know. Somebody just ran off the Mona Lisa. Because French incompetence. We got a construction effort done, and we finally have enough to actually get four whole dudes in our infantry divisions. Yay! We're still half the size of a German one. Alrighty. That being said, let's get over here. I'm going to unite the Benelux. So we would not just be known as Belgium anymore, we will be known as the United Benelux. Huzzah! I'm very surprised that Holland actually capitulated that quickly. Uh, usually they will let you make you have to fight this tiny little war that you will win every time. Uh, uh, Speaking of Chinese Civil War, here it comes, slowing down the game per usual. And it's the Xinghai Revolution time. Also known as yeah, boy. the Republic of China. That wonderful flag. They usually win. I've seen them lose. Once. I need all my dudes. Get all my dudes to the line. 24 divisions. We might stand a chance. Keep in mind, these our divisions is about, what, a quarter of the size? Half. About half the size of a German division. At the moment, we're working on it. Slowly but surely. Um... I would love less supply consumption. I would be delighted to have less supply consumption. And as you can tell, we are eating through our manpower pretty quickly here. That's just because we need this to actually have a military. Strangely enough, we entered the war without one. Doesn't feel right. Quick with the research just because. Yeah, we're gonna want the. Um, my favorite little material designer here, which would be Fabric Mexico Adams de Gore. Although it's very tempting to say fun to be right off the commons. Uh, tempting. Uh, that being said, no. And yes, we will get Fogo. Jar? Here yet. Oh, right. They're Dutch. My bad. It irks me that I can't use the Dutch companies now that I run the Netherlands as well. Belgium's first, I suppose. Nineteen eleven. I'm gonna go for some cult of the offense. I'm not going to really use siege artillery. We have the support battalions, battalions I want, but not things to actually lock them, which annoys me. Uh, let's go over here for the cult of the defense. Uh, basically what happens is they added a whole new doctrine over here for each of these uh, that you have to fill out first before you get to actually get into the three that you all recall in the base game. Rather interesting, in my opinion. Oh boy. Well, we're the United Benelux right now. That's good. I'm going to go with a Entente. Uh, boy. I kind of want my Entente uh, friendship such that they will uh, almost guaranteedly come save us. Um, but at the same time, fortifying our borders sounds amazing. Uh, so I'm going to have to actually think about that one. So that means we're going over here with military modernization. And Italy's invaded Libya. 
We already control the Benelux. We are now the Greater Benelux. Yes, we are Greater. See, Belgium, if you just got your shit together, you might have actually had more of a chance in survival. Not to say that it didn't survive the war. It actually did quite well and served through the entire war and never actually gave in for the entire conflict. Being said, they spent a lot of the conflicts not exactly doing well. Having lost, you know, League, Namur, all the way through this, they practically took Brussels on a number of occasions and pushed all the way into here. You know, Verdun, Sedan, Indians, you get the idea. It's kind of a bit of a problem. My other issue is, is the, if we go for the Central Powers, I'm going to have to fight off the British Navy. No, I'm not doing that. And of course, the Republic of China won. That and the Xinghai Revolution has ended. What sometimes can happen is there can be sparks of it uh, fleeing around to other nations around here. That's later. Ahem. <clears throat> Ronald Amundsen and four others arrived at the Pole. This is the South Pole, five weeks ahead of the British expedition, led by Robert Falcon Scott, as part of the Terra Nova expedition. Amundsen and his team safely returned to the base, and it was later learned that Scott and his four companions died on their return journey. Perhaps we'll establish colonies in Antarctica. Yes, you heard me. Antarctica, the thing not even on the map. Just how stupid it is to think about colonizing. Uh, European. European mentalities at this time are silly at times. Oh, ready, dighty. Let's get in here. I can go for another three drum up now, or just wait a little while longer. They're going to end up in Africa anyway. I'm tempted to make some cavalry divisions for Africa just so they move around a little bit faster. That being said, making cavalry just feels wrong at the moment. Just feels wrong. Where are my tanks? Horse strong vehicles will be something we will have to start producing pretty soon. Because I need to be, get a build up of them to actually, you know, make things move quickly. Uh, let's get us an equipment effort. Oh, nope, we can do infrastructure ever too. Excellent. This is 1912 right now. This is going to be interesting. Alrighty. We are a little while in. I'm probably going to make a cut here. This has been part one, probably a couple part series. Uh, I'm doing this series because we're coming up on 100 years. Uh, well, 99 years from the end of World War One, uh, and this November the 11th, we will be yeah, 99 years off from the end. Quite interesting to think that it's an entire century ago. Anyhow, I'll see you all in the next part. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know that you were interested. Thank you.